Welcome everybody. In today's episode, we are going to uh, explore and set up how we can use a Linux binary compatibility mode. It's basically uh, abstraction layer over the FreeBSD uh, that allows us to use and call Linux binaries, uh, basically li li Linux uh, executables and uh, dynamic um, libraries. I'll cover everything from start to the end. Uh, a lot of people think this is emulation. I think there is a lot of confusion, which is what is really a compatibility through emulation or through abstraction. In my opinion, this is the compatibility layer through abstraction and not through emulation. The reason is uh, we are basically, because Linux kernel and six calls on Linux are really close to the ones on the FreeBSD, uh, they're from, you know, the similar, the branch of uh, operating systems, which are Unix-like POSIX operating systems. Uh, it's really easy to uh, to map the Linux calls to FreeBSD calls, Sys calls, relatively easy. Uh, we have it working, fun fully functional, as you know from 64-bit uh, there is support from FreeBSD 10.3 and uh, i386, it's probably from much earlier. Uh, I'll just jump to a configuration and the actual set. So you'll see how it is easy to set up. There are basically two kernel mod uh, modules. Uh, Linux for 32-bit support and Linux 64 for 64-bit support. Uh, these are regular kernel modules. You can load them manually. Uh, just make sure your root and you give the load Linux and Linux 64. To so make sure they're actually loaded, just type uh, KLD stat and then, of course, grab for Linux. And you see they're loaded. Uh, besides Linux and Linux 64, there is, there is Linux Common and KPI. I think this KPI is used for the drivers, uh, for driver emulation that we have uh, probably used for the GPU drivers. I'm not really sure, but I think that's, that's uh, why they're here. I didn't load them manually. That's the thing. So next time, instead of you loading manually these Linux and Linux 64-bit uh, modules, you can just go to your etcrc.conf conf and just uh, say Linux enable yes. That's basically all. Uh, right now, we need to to few more things. Uh, so where is this Linux? Uh, where are these Linux like programs installed? They're installed in Linux in compat forward slash Linux. Now we need to install the, some basic Linux uh, uh, environment. In this case, we're going to use the CentOS 7, uh, Linux base C7. Yes, and after installing this, you will see them installed in Compat Linux. So here we have right now some instructions what we need to do. So we need to go to Etsy F's tab and add a couple of things. And I'll make sure this is uh, a little larger so we can follow. So first thing we need is lean proc fs. You just copy paste. That's it. Uh, then we have the Linux compat. This one. And then we have temp fs. This one. And there is one more thing you need to do, and that's dev fs compat linux dev that's dev fs read write zero zero we should be good uh, ok 
Okay. So let's now manually for now mount them so I don't have to restart the computer. Okay, I made a mistake here. So it's compat. Mount compat, then we mount the proc, then we mount sys, and we mount dev shm. All right, so we are all set to go. Uh, right now, let's uh, let's actually install something that uses Linux. And one, there is one package that I know which, which uses the Linux compatibility mode and that's Sublime uh, Text Editor. Sublime, and it says Linux Sublime 3. There is version 2 and version 3. I use, use version 3. So package install. And as you see, it will fetch also other Linux dependencies. And these are these are dependencies from the CentOS. I think the reason the FreeBSD choose the CentOS is because uh, CentOS is really stable release. It doesn't get updated really often. Uh, it comes from the Red Hat. It's based on a Red Hat Linux. Basically, uses the RPM, uh, you know, packages in the background. I mean, it really that you shouldn't care about this. What you should care is that you get uh, all of these requirements installed, dependencies installed, and your Linux Sublime 3 uh, version of Sublime also installed. So let's test if this is going to work. So it'll take some time to download. All right. So let's now see if we get our Sublime editor. Yes, we do. And it works. There was something from last time here. This is the Linux uh, application like GUI Linux application working in the FreeBSD. So you there you get it. Uh, in the next uh, videos, I'll show how we can uh, uh, install the Alpine Linux and use Alpine Package Manager. Uh, the reason why I want to do that, because I want to use I want to use the Alpine packages which are currently available to that distribution and just uh, enjoy the you know the the luxury of having this really nice Linux distro with it, with its software on the FreeBSD and uh, I'll only use the software which is not present on the FreeBSD. To be honest, more than ninety percent of the software is probably supported that I need. Uh, there are some corner cases. But in general, I'm really happy so far with the FreeBSD over the last couple of months and I'll keep using it. So for my daily activities, that's all in this video. It stayed short and I'll try to keep other videos short just to show you to go straight to the point. So you get the gist of the, the problem and the solution. Stay safe, stay good and see you in my next video. Bye.